Hello everyone, welcome back. Let's solve the problem, find all duplicates in an array from the daily challenge. So before jumping into the problem, I think most of you will get accepted, this solution will get accepted. But this is the problem we can expect in the interviews because interviewer can drill down to various approaches. He will ask you to optimize space, then he will ask you to optimize the time. So this is one of the famous problems we can expect in an interview. Because he want to see our problem solving abilities, how we can optimize the solution. So we can expect this. So before jumping into the problem, I think most of you are able to solve this using various approaches. But today in this video, we will solve like how we can solve this problem in an interview. In an interview. So let's first understand the problem. We are given a find, find an integer array nums of length n, where all integers of numbers are in the range 1 to n. He is saying that he is giving some numbers and all integers are 1 to n and each, in, each integer appear once or twice, once or twice, return an array of all integers that appears twice. He is saying that my elements, every element is appearing at least once or at least twice, not more than that. So these are my elements. So you can see here 3 and 2 are appearing twice. So we have resulted 2 and you can see here the time. So we can do it in, we can solve this problem in order of n or order of n into log n. So after seeing this, you will get, okay, these are the constraints. So I need to come up with these solutions. But in the interview, you should think about any brute force approach. So do you, have you thought about brute force approach? Go and think. If you haven't, so, haven't thought, go and think how you can solve this problem using brute force. So let's see how we can solve this. Now you can see here find duplicates if numbers are empty directly we are returning the empty array and you can see here i is equals 0 i less than nums dot size i plus plus j is equals to i plus 1 j less than nums dot size j plus plus if my nums of i is equals to nums of j that means i need to push my answer nums of i into my answer and i will break it out and i will break it out and if it is not equal if it is not equal then i am saying continue you can think Are, if you are doing this if you are doing this can we get a repeated suppose we are getting 3 1 1 3 if, if the elements are like this we are starting from here right first once 3 has occurred then another 3 will definitely not occur so we will push only this 3 for this 3 we are checking only in the friend direction so we will be missing out that's why this will work okay this solution works in n into n and we are not using any extra space so it will be order of one now interviewer will say can you optimize it further you can think okay how, how can i optimize it so with optimize you can see that we need the frequencies of twos right twos so can i use a hash map or a frequency map yeah sure i can use an hash map or a map now think about the map approach how you can solve this so it's simple right you will store all the frequencies in the map and if the frequency is 2 then i will pushing into the answer it's simple now you can see here map of int comma int and we are push incrementing every frequency here m of i plus plus and we are iterating in the map and we are checking if i dot second is equals to 2 then answer dot pushback i dot first so i am return returning the answer so you can see here here my time complexity will be order of n into log n because map will take log n and you can use unordered map it will be like order of one operations but in the worst case it can go to order of n into n n into n. you can tell this to your interviewer and if it is 2 we are pushing it and we are using extra space of order of n and he will ask can you decrease this space using only frequency map or hash map so you can use counter you can use count and here you can see here my maximum elements can be less than or equals to n so i will declare int frequency array of size n plus 1 and i will increment every frequency so if you use this approach you can you can subtract this and you will get order of n as your time complexity using frequency array because frequency array we will iterate every time and we will get the answer directly and this is my hash map solution you will say can you have some other approaches uh, we, we, I don't want to use some extra space. I don't want to use some extra space and time complexity order of n, right? So I want, I don't want to compromise on space. I will say, okay, if you are not, if you don't want to compromise on space, let's think about a sorting solution. If I sort it, 
if i sort it if my elements are this and if i sort it it will be like 1 2 2 3 3 4 7 and 8 these are my sorted array and i will check 1 is not equal 2 2 equal this is my set 3 3 equal this is my set these are all are not equal so directly i will say so it is simple right i will sort it i will sort it this is my answer v of phi is equal to v of phi plus 1 that means you can see here if these are equal these are not equal so i will come here if both are equal then i will increment my i plus plus because i don't want to compare this with this i don't want to compare this will increase my speed right that's why i'm doing that so you can see here v of i is equal to v of i plus 1 we are pushing into the answer then we are doing i plus plus and finally we are returning the answer you can see here time will be n into log of n and the space will be constant right okay interviewer is saying that okay you are using n into log n space can you do this in order of n so try to think for a couple of minutes and dry down few scenarios let's see how you can solve this problem using order of n you can ask the interviewer can i modify the array if modification is feasible then i can solve this in order of n or else it's not that possible i can solve so i will explain you with the modified array now you can see here these are my inputs these are all my inputs it's simple modified is something what i will do here is my zeroth index is 4 right 4 so it's it's basic now it 4 um, we will be like 1 to n these are so i will consider 0 to n minus 1 as my indexes 0 to n minus 1 okay 4 means it is in third index right at a third index i will make it minus 7 i will make it minus 7 why i make it minus 7 i will let you know at 3 that means it is 2 i will make it minus 2 now with 2 it is minus 1 right it 1 sorry it i will make it minus 3 7 that means it is 6 i will make minus 3 i got 8 so i will make it minus 1 now i got 2 2 means it will check it will check at this point right at this point at one index so it is my negative so that means these two these two both are equal and it is negative that means my 2 has repeated once 2 has repeated once so this is my repeated then i am coming to 3 3 okay oh yes at 3 means it is minus 2 yes this is also getting repeated i think you are understanding this is getting repeated now you got 1 so it is minus 4 so it is not repeating so i will left out so these are all my repeated elements i think you understood it what exactly we are doing we are just modifying if it is 3 i am making minus 3 because if it is 3 i am making it second index like v of v of i minus 1 this is thing we are doing v of v of i minus 1 that means it second index we are making it negative and then we will check if my 3 appears again it will be negative so i will say that my element is repeated so let's see the logic it's pretty simple so this is my size and these are my answers and and first condition is this one this is my first condition v of abs of v of i minus 1 abs is most important thing because you are making the index negative right you are making the index negative that means if you are making this as like uh, if v of abs of v of i minus 1 you are making it at 3 you are making this as minus 2 these are making this minus 2 when one more 3 occurs when one more 3 occurs at this point it will be like negative right minus 2 will be negative so you should handle that that's why we are using here v of abs of v of i minus 1 v of i minus 1 abs of v of i not complete minus 1 so that's why we are doing it if it's less than 0 answer dot pushback v of i and here my time will be order of n and we are not using any extra space so it will be like order of n but only drawback is we have updated the array we have updated the array you should ask the interviewer if we can update the array you should tell this approach if he is saying that you should not update so my maximum time will be log n n into log n and if you want to use extra space then it will be like order of n and order of n so either you should compromise on the space or the time it depends how the your interviewer will ask so i think you have got it if you learned something new from this video please do like and if you are new to the channel please consider to subscribe i will see you in the next video till then bye bye